wet my whistle. Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this terrific Tuesday here in Connecticut. Life's awesome, man. Life's awesome. Now, you saw the thumbnail. Three hours later, it is a little bit after 11 o'clock. I have been playing and lifting and PNF for three straight hours. I start about 8 o'clock. Okay? Let's see what we got. We've talked about endurance. I've had a lot of questions about that. Okay? And uh, we'll get to it. Let's see what we got. feel great man. Let's see if we can crush the baby a little bit. Drinking your juice. Not a mark on my lip anyway. Double C is as big as a house. A little crest the baby. That is a piece one of my uh, high school students is doing. I've never played it before. Uh, ballet. But guys, it's all there. Now this comes when I, I did a thing last week, two weeks ago, it doesn't matter, on endurance. Okay, and I've been getting a lot of questions about that through my comments and, and you know the emails and all this, guys. Which is fine. Ask away. If you don't want your name on the comment board, uh, email me. That's fine. And guys, you do me a favor. If somebody asks a question on the comment board, even if you think you have the answer, please keep it to yourself. They've asked me, okay? Anyway, um, with that said, uh, yeah, I started at eight o'clock. Uh, my chops felt great when I started. They feel great three hours later. Now, one of the questions that I'm going to address tomorrow, for sure, is, and this came uh, yesterday in a lesson, can I overdo the spit buzzing? Absolutely, absolutely. And we'll get that to, to that tomorrow. But guys, if I know... Now, first of all, I've trained myself to always, always stop, spit, buzz, reset, do a kettlebell, whatever, when I start to crash. All right? Now, when I'm doing three hours, if I plan on doing three, four, five hours, I haven't done five hours in a long time, uh, three hours, I am much more cognizant of that. And guys, as long as you don't let yourself stretch, you can go forever. You can literally go forever. And guys, that is how you train endurance. I'm trying to tell you. It's not just going farther and farther and farther no matter what happens. You know, you, let Jane Fonda work for the burn. I'm really... <laughs> I am really, really dating myself. For those young guys who have no idea who Jane Fonda is, this, she was a, well, she still is, still with us, she is a actress, former actress, um, doesn't work anymore, 
that had a workout video that was huge before social media and all that sort of stuff. And she's a very attractive woman and in great shape. I believe she was in her 40s or 50s at that time and she's, you know, shredded and all this sort of stuff. And her workout video was go for the burn. Okay, guys, that is the worst thing you can do. If you are going for the burn, if you play to the point of letting it burn, you are doing it wrong. This is for athletes. Athletes never work to the burn. And you know what I'm talking about. It's a burning sensation that comes in your lips. Guys, if you get that burning sensation, you are really far gone. Really, really far gone, okay? What that is, is that is muscle and lactic acid breakdown that happens in your body, which will, which will turn into soreness the next day. That burn, that lactic acid buildup is the exact same chemical breakdown as rigor mortis. So if you are going for the burn, which all these ridiculous methods, the contraptions, you're going for the burn, <coughs> you play past the burn. Guys, that is the worst thing you can do. Now, as I said, it's the same thing as rigor mortis. If you are working out or playing with that burn, you are literally, to a minute degree, killing your chops. Little rigor mortis killing, you're literally doing that. You can't do that. Now again, over the years, also, the fact that I don't perform anymore is a big deal. I do, I do believe it's a big deal. And all of you guys that are going out, pounding the streets and getting back to it and all this sort of stuff, you don't always have that luxury. I mean, if you're feeling the burn in the middle of a solo, oh, uh, sorry guys, that's lactic acid buildup. Give me a minute. I'll be with you. You can't do that. I get it. So you do what you do, but you can't do that in your practice. Guys, that is the discipline. More so than doing your Doc Severinsen thing and going three, four hours in a row, no matter what happens, you just, you know, that's, that's crazy is what it is. But even more than that discipline is having the discipline to stop yourself the minute you feel it starting to crash. The minute. Now, a handful of my high school students are having auditions, all state, you know, college, all this sort of stuff. And this is what I'm giving them. Don't worry about the hours. Don't worry how much time you're putting in. Just make sure every note you play is right. And guys, that is no different. The only thing you have to worry about, guys, is staying in your happy zone. And if you do that and you stop when you feel it, you stop, you spit buzz, you do some PNF, you do some kettlebells, you get back to it right where you left off, you are going to feel a spike in your performance. You just are. That, guys, is how you develop endurance. Now, guys, you know me. I'm, I'm so transparent, I can't believe it. Warts and all. First thing in the morning, guys, this is how you develop endurance. I never practice three hours. Once in a blue moon, if I have nothing else to do, and I have to get to the dentist, the bane of my existence soon. But uh, I have literally nothing else to do, clear up my schedule for all my lessons, and what do I do? I sit down and practice. And at my age, guys, at my age, to go three straight hours, and I could keep going, three straight hours, and sound fresh as a daisy. Guys, that is how you develop endurance. Got it? Got it. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all. Thank you.